guys. Uh, let's do a video here. Just make sure this webcam's working. Hello, test, test, test. Yeah, I guess that part's working. I don't know if the webcam is working, maybe. If it is, hey, cheers. Um, I actually prepared myself today for a change, so that's why I won't get sidetracked. A uh, lot to talk about. We haven't done a video in a while. Um, <clears throat> we will uh, we'll get right on it, I guess. We're going to go through some uh, crypto. We're going to go through what's going on with currencies. Uh, what else are we going to do? Gematria here. <clears throat> and some previous, uh, some trades that, that, that are coming up. And some um, some trades from uh, the other day, Pound, Pound Canada, um, that we did in the room. And uh, it was quite entertaining, actually, with the news event. So let's get to that first. But we're going to get, actually, we're going to get to the market first. What I mean by that is we need to uh, remind ourselves what the market is. Um, so, pull up a screenshot. All right, it's very simple. Sharing the correct screen here, yeah, we are. Is this gonna work? Uh, yeah, it's working, that's good. All right, and I move this over like so. Okay, that'll work then. All right, so a market is where people come to uh, exchange their services, uh, and their goods, uh, etc. Um, the merchants here will be buying wholesale, and they'll be selling at retail prices to these guys who go there on weekends. So that is the same thing as what we are looking at with the screens. It's the exact same thing. And finally, there's a common agreement. People shake hands and they walk away with the, the with a with a deal. Um, it can be virtual and it could it could be real. Now in the old times, as we all know, how that looked in the market was like so. Okay, same thing. You got the dealers here. Um, you got the traders. You got the brokers, um, and the brokers take their calls from customers, and they go to the traders, and the traders make the deal to the uh, to the to the the dealers. Um, and and what are they looking at here? Well, they're looking at the numbers. They're looking at numbers. They're not looking at charts. They're looking at numbers. Now, remember the tape. They called the tape is what they used to look at. And the tape is, a, hence its name, it, it, it's a recorder. It's a tape recorder. So these, these candlesticks or bars or lines, they could use dildos. They could use bananas. And, and people would still make up stories about uh, about them as they build a belief from <clears throat> an area of support of bananas and then they believe in the future that that's the reason why uh, the currency went up um, but the truth is it's the numbers and the numbers are, 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 are recorded in time so this candle sticks all they're doing is marking the numbers so we don't have to go back and look on the, see on the board here it would keep the numbers up previous numbers and so they would all have an idea in mind when they came in in the, in the day of where they were buying and where they were selling 
Um, and we can do the exact same thing by looking at uh, by looking at the charts. So it's just it's all numbers. And this was this they had the advantage back then because they were able to uh, read the emotions of the other guys. They can tell who's sweating and and, and who's who's buying too much retail price. And, and and then they can look at their numbers that they've written down or that they're observing during the day or the week, whichever fractal of time that trader works in uh, on that particular trade. Um, you see, we have to be dynamic. You can't just say you're a monthly trader because there, there could be amazing setup on the daily. So you're going to turn that away because you're like, well, I'm, a, I'm only a monthly trader. I'm, I'm not going to take that. So and these guys were not doing that. They were addicted. They're all addicted. They were there 18 hours a day. Um, so now what, what happens is they sell to people who are unsure. Um, the, so the, the guys here that did their homework and bought retail pri uh, um, uh, discount prices and they, they're selling to willing um, uh, uh, participants who they can shake hands with. Um, those guys, uh, they're, they're, they're unsure. They're the ones that were sweating in the room. And, and that's why they give us the Taurus, because Taurus symbolizes unsure. That's why they give you the ball, okay? On Wall Street, balls and bears, okay? Selling to unsure people. That's how the game works. It's how the, the market in the in on the Saturday in in the in the top, the the where you buy your uh, uh, hats or coats or whatever the hell you're buying at the at the market store, food, grocery. You, you, the 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 dealer is laughing at you because he 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 got an extreme discount relative to what you're paying. But then eventually everyone will commonly agree on a price maybe at the end of the day he'll drop the prices and then he gets more guys taking taking his stock and then he repeats again we can do the exact same thing here um, now what I did is I I made two accounts on my uh, phone um, and without using the uh, the screen here uh, the screens I've just turned them on today um, and we're two weeks into this project and we're looking for basically 90, 97, 98% uh, accuracy. And the, the only losses we're allowed to have is <clears throat> a, a human error. Like you press the wrong button, it happens on the phone because on one account, you, one account it will be Euro Aussie for instance, and you buy Euro Aussie and then you flip onto the next account and it's not saved as Euro Aussie, it's now Aussie CAD for instance, and you, and you messed up. Um, and you press the button anyway, so you have to go back and close it because it wasn't part of the plan. And then internet failure, <coughs> other problems like that. Um, that three or four percent is is not going to be enough to destroy the, the business. Um, so these are our results. It's going pretty good so far. Um, and yeah, this that doesn't matter about that. All right. So let's show you guys now what we did with the Canada. And I want to show you what they did with the news. And that news justifies the Canada's move down for the people, the unsure Tauruses. Oh yeah, we gotta show you this. So, so what they're doing, right? They're seeking fair value. That that's essentially what they're they're, they're doing. The 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 dealer, he he's buying wholesale prices, and he knows what retail is willing to pay, and and that is the fair value what retail is willing to pay, and he knows that. And we can put the, these areas on the charts. And we can monitor the price there and you'll see that handshake literally being taken place 
Um, now we will do a little gematria quickly here. FX Holy Grail is 65, 56 reflection. Um, so we have to play the 56 game, um, the movie, to, to play this reality. Um, and that's what that's telling us. But we're seeking fair value, and that is the truth. And it confirms it with the 75 there, which would be the reflection is 57. That is truth, 57. That's what that is all about. Earth is a movie set. It's divine theater. It's all truth. Uh, words are out of the 57 phrases. Um, so that's what it's telling us. Is that the truth is we have to... Play, seek fair value and, and, and operate in the 56 reality because this is the this is a movie 56 movie we have to play the game um, now let's do that Canada here wherever it's gone Oh yeah, here it is. All right. So we have to go that way, I guess. All right, so we loaded up here on uh, Pound Canada. And our balance area was here. Fair value area was here. Um, came here. Right, here it is. Um, this news was while we were up at the top in CHOP. Um, so we're here and we, we knew this news was coming out here the next day, 8.30 or the next day after that. There was a couple of days, a few days. So what they did here is once the news came out, um, do we see the... Hang on a minute. Where's the uh, the news after the date? I'm trying to find it. Oh, well, I can't. Oh, damn it. I wish I could find that. Uh, one second. Because it's important for us to see that, I think. Because um, you can see the news hadn't been announced yet. The numbers are not there. So once the numbers came out, it was, where was it? Oh, I don't know where the hell they are. Huh. Well, whatever. Uh, you can look them up yourself. They're like minus one or minus 1.2, whatever, a red number, worse than expected. So what happened after it being worse than expected? Well, what did we see? We see it drop. So we now believe that the, the collective or a, 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 a portion of them, perhaps the Virgos or a portion of the Virgos uh, who take this as gospel, what they're told on television by, by the academic uh, department, um, they're now going to build their, their fractal of time in terms of their per perception of the homework that they're doing, their studies, on future uh, price moves between Pound Canada um, as that news information creating that move or being the cause for that move. So the next time they're anticipating similar numbers, they're going to be expecting a, a, a pound cad drop. 
but it could that could take years for that next exact same combination to happen of things to happen so so during that time they they they've created stories along the way their their belief has got bigger their it's it, their imagination has 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 broadened to where the story you just have to take the C19 just go back to that so many people have built a false reference point in time from from there and it's and it's formed their new belief paradigm in which they'll take forward with them in the future with to their kids and their grandkids so that's the same with the virgos academics who have studied this this pound uh, move they're going to believe the reason is the pound calendar has gone down is because of that that negative number which is all nonsense because we were already had this marked out as expensive prices and price needs to rebalance at fair value down here uh, at some point soon uh, in that fractal of time that we're viewing. So you take this amount of time and then you, you times it by two and go forward and then in that period you should have price in that area. It can go faster, it could go a little slower and drag on. But we know how to forecast that too. Um, so let's move on now from there to um, we did that news there, done some gematria, We've done the market store handshakes, common agreement. 12 signs basically commonly agree at the end of it. That's how you get an agreement. That's why they have 12 in a, in a, in a jury. Not all of them. I think I've said this before, but not... At the end of your... At the end of, at the end of our cycle, our MC line, the, the, the wider world view, it gradually goes around. And it may start in a Virgo reality. And as we move around in time... <clears throat> Every 18.5 years, the, the cycle goes around. It will, we then shift our belief slightly forward. So, so it could go from a Virgo belief to it's a, it's a Libra belief, uh, belief. And then other guys may have it's a Piscean belief. So it would be an illusion. They believe all of this is an illusion. The other guys, they believe um, <coughs> they have, may have Leo in their wider world view uh, uh, MC line but going round forward so they're maxing forwards they're gas on on their chakras seeking they, they're not stalled back in, in where they initially were at 18.5 years they've moved on and they've moved on again so as that happens you get further around in your belief your, your vision of this world this reality adjusts and and the, the guys with the Leos, Leo there, may believe that this is all a movie. It's all theatre. The Piscean guys believe it's all an illusion. <clears throat> but eventually, everybody commonly agrees and they shake hands. But we're not allowed to shake hands anymore. Because that's against nature. So I was open, I was, uh, had the door open uh, today, holding the door. There was a, I don't know, 12, 12 year old maybe 14 year old, I don't know the age of these, these girls, held the door open for them to go into the store. I'm looking and they don't interact anymore, I've noticed. They don't even eye contact you. They, she, she didn't acknowledge me at all. She, her, she, her natural thing had been changed, so she didn't grab the door from me. She actually reached for the electric button. And, and, and right in my face, I was like, oh, oh, wow. So she pressed that button instead of taking the door from me because she's been programmed into this new new reality in which we're going into and it's flying cars, robots, the Jetsons, essentially. Um, a, a hybrid between uh, the Jetsons, Terminator 2, um, not Terminator 1, Terminator 2, because that, remember, when, when, when he did his, his executions, it was a non-physical way, he had that thing. And we're going into that non-physical world of virtual, peculiarness with green screens robots flying cars so there'll be 
and people will take robots over nature. They'll choose that. They won't, they've forgot what the natural balance is. They don't recognize that that even exists. Um, so where will we going to go here? Right. Let's do the pound the, uh, the Euro here. Uh, our next biggest move is going to be the Swiss and the Euro. What's happened during this period of time, we see 32.40 down in the Swiss and we see 6,000 down in the pound but 6,300 down in the, the Euro. This is where you get caught. It looks here like a like, uh, dollar is is a lot further down than the moving main moving average there um we are expecting a dollar up move however however these numbers relative to these numbers is not enough but relative to the swiss if you look at the moving averages the, the because this will give us another cycle that the, the accounting time right so this fundamentally the dollar needs to go up against the Swiss because the Swiss is way too strong up there so we're going to have a, some type of balance occurring in dollar Swiss um, so the average price is about 3,000 I, I guess the most extreme is Euro. Now remember, I remember how this, how the nature happens. Is 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 is. Remember when we spoke about the uh, the, forget the name of that, the pendulum, those balls. The one hits it, and the other one goes boom, and boom, and boom, and boom, and boom. In the market, and that's natural. That, it, it, what's it called? It's the cradle. Uh, Christ, I forget. So what, it's the same thing with the charts and, and we, or with the, the, the currencies. We could think, we could see it this way. Some of the guys are going to believe, well, it's because the Toyota boss, he, he, he can't be calling the banks up on the 30th of the month and saying, what the hell are you guys doing? You can't trend this for three decades because now I've got to pay more for my steel and I've already placed the order and blah, 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 blah. It would cause a nightmare. So they, they bring everything back to balance on all fractals of time. So it, it doesn't matter what we're missing back here, guys, right? You, you can work that if you want, but you, just, you would just have to adjust the fractal of time. And whatever you're seeing there is still going to happen, okay? So the dollar, uh, the euro, Swiss, we're going to pull that over here. And we'll give ourselves our target. We'll be in that same amount of time going forward. So we've got one day, two days, three days, four days, five days, six days, seven days, eight days. So from the time we saw it, it was seven days. So plus seven days from now, we should anticipate price to be somewhere around either the balance line number one or number two technically it should be here okay in seven days from now but we're going to split it and go here because the numbers are actually giving us 3200 which is crazy but Anything's uh, possible, and the numbers are telling us that. So I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that. <clears throat> um, what other ones are we looking at here? The Euro New Zealand. I, I guess you guys here. You want? Let's do the numbers and. Yeah, it takes a while to do this, but. So we know that the euros come down sixty three hundred points. We know the Swiss has come down 3,200 points. 6,300 minus 32. And you can do this exact. Thirty-one hundred. So our target is 3,100 above where we witnessed this, which was here. 
right? So it's up there somewhere, 97 area. Um, but they, they, each one has a fractal, so they'll split this in the middle too. And so we'll put take profit one and then take profit two. They're, all that this is gonna do, what it's gonna do is moving us into another time fractal, another realm. If we pull these up on the one hour, it will reveal higher numbers, and this would be more in line. Uh, but we're not gonna go into all that right now. Uh, let's look at the New Zealand. So New Zealand is 2200, which is the absolute opposite end. Uh, in terms of this move here. Um, obviously we're in crazy on the Swiss because it's the existing move, this one here. Whereas it's, you see, it's stronger than the averages, whereas Euro is, is weaker. So you go against it. Um, because nature, as the the ball swings, will require the ball to come back to balance. That's why everybody always buys high and sells low. But sometimes it works. It works because it's another time frame running it down with a, with a bit more oomph to it. And then what happens is you, you add to that, and then they take the money anyway. <laughs> so when you get that one and you think it's right, and you add to it, well, that move was still short lived, so the house always wins. Um, Euro Sweet New Zealand is so look 6300 down, New Zealand only 22. Our Euro New Zealand chart. Yeah. So calculator sixty three. Same thing here again. Minus twenty two. Forty one hundred. So our target is forty one hundred. Forty. Oh, okay. I've, I might at the time I guess I calculate forty two and twenty one. So that's good. We're going up there. End of the conversation. That's where the handshakes will be, and then there'll be more handshakes up there. Um, so we're buying at this count. That's all. And this is that time frame. We, we enter only on this time frame. We don't allow anything else to change that. If, if, if we're playing, or if we're doing the one minute, that's absolutely a, no problem. It's a totally different thing. Um, so now, let's go to crypto. And it's pretty obvious what's going on here. Um, we'll do the same thing. Oh. Pretty obvious, guys. Pretty obvious. This move, unfortunately, is not going to happen. It's uh, going to be short-lived. Um, it's difficult to do the numbers properly on the crypto, but we're going to be able to do it soon once we have a few more uh, things calculated but you've got th 31 like it's three one one two three four five so it's five numbers because what we can do no I'm gonna I'm, we'll I don't want to go uh, too ahead of myself, but three one five. All right, whatever. That's enough. All right, so it's thirty one thousand. But its price is only twenty three hundred and sixty. Bitcoin is forty three thousand means its numbers should be an extra zero there you go right so this is how we're doing it guys it's gone up 65,000 we'll say and ETH has gone up 
um, 31,000. Okay. Is that true? Well, let's look at the moving averages and we'll find. It is true, you see, I had to scroll it a lot further to see this. So, yeah, BTC is really the strongest one currently. That is the truth, even though it looks like ETH is stronger. BTC is the stronger one. Big, 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 big discount, guys. Oops. I'll change that to red. Um, what else happened over the last six months since I did a video? Did did we called out there'd be a the the, you know what? Let's not give it any energy. Yeah, we're there and we're seeing it. So that's that. Um, okay. LTC USD has essentially uh, done nothing uh, relative to the balance line. Uh, it's it is very weak if you compare it to the average of these two. Uh, so you if you had a, if you if you, if if you were able to trade uh, BTC and sell it against LTC, that would be a great trade. Um, let's do that. Yeah, let's take that. Uh, I mean, we're not supposed to, we're not supposed to be doing crypto, but we're gonna do it anyway. Uh, BTC, LTC, nice. And then we'll get the numbers as well. The numbers are gonna be very easy to organize because you have basically a number of, of neutral. Um, so, yeah, it's gonna be good. Chart, crypto. BTC, LTC, here it is. All right. And we are indeed on the one hour on everything, yeah. All right, good. This is going to be a fabulous trade. I'm very excited. All right, this looks nice. Make sure we got the exact same fractal of time. You know, we don't want to do anything but that. We don't want to do anything else but that. That is our business right now. We're not interested in any of this other stuff. All right. Um. Okay. We're not interested in ETH anymore. That's out of the question. It's 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 irrelevant. Um, you know, this, I mean, this is you know, it's, it's just beautiful. Really, really be beautiful. The numbers then, okay, because we have to we have to change them. It's sixty one. It was like six hundred thousand. Um. Where was it? Okay, 63. So we'll call it 63 as, as ETH was 31,000. So we're just gonna remove the decimal. The point, the zero off the end, it's, it's irrelevant. So. <clears throat> All right, that'll work. this would be neutral got some nice move down which nothing else really did um, suggesting it is is indeed the weakest we're not interested if it wants to pull back or any of this stuff no at this time relative to BTC 
it is out of wax. The balance will be 6,300 points or 63 points, whatever the hell it equals on LTC to bring us back to balance. So let's get the, the, uh, the thing here. 63, so the first one is, literally has to go 63, okay? Because it's at neutral. So we'll move this and conveniently that's where the, uh, looks like that's where the balance is. So, but we'll go from the bottom, we'll find 63 here. Right, that is our target and that will be TP as that is fair value people. All right, and if you want, you know, absolutely add one halfway and take off half at halfway if you like or whatever your your money management plan is um, you know we've got it figured out that a, a two thousand dollar account can get you doing 0 0.6 0 0.7 cents with five or six positions we figured a thousand dollar account you got to go three cents, three to four cents. Um, you can go 10 cents, but you're going to be having difficulty with margin. Um, but, but every three weeks, you just you pyramid it up the numbers. You, you just take some and you can compile it into another account, make another trading account, take some profit, start building that one up, duplicate, replicate the exact same trade you're doing and then get another account, another account, another account. And then after six or seven months, you should have about 20 different trading accounts and you can, and you literally just copy, repeat all of your trades, emotionless. There is, there are no emotions here anymore, guys. It's all, it's over. The game is, it's done, it's checkmate. So, so here's 63, right? Uh, and then we're looking for you know, 30, 31 or something. I mean, this is good. We'll just go like here. Yeah, and this will be our crypto trade. We'll put two positions. It's, it's being annoying. Uh, we can see it right away. It's just perfect. So, buy. If this works, I don't know. Okay, good. I don't know how many, I think it's going to want another zero. Okay, nice. That's where we're going. And this is TP2. Fair value. Two. We'll leave this as one. This is the real fair value, so we don't need to write anything fancy in there. All right, boom. Um, don't need to bother with stops. Every every drop, we add more uh, somewhere, you know. Just write in discount. This is our area. And, and obviously, guys, if you're concerned about um, BTC, well, this is giving you the answer to that, right? Um, <clears throat> so in time, you know, if you're in this monthly and you're hoping for BTC to go to 300,000 and you're trying to hold for 300,000, then that's totally cool. That's what's going to happen. If you believe that's what's going to happen. This, we're talking about a massive pullback here in this one hour fractal that we're looking at. I don't know what the hell's going on anywhere else. We're just doing this. I have no opinion of anything else because you guys have witnessed this in this video. Forget about anything else. It's just this. Yeah. So, um, where is it? What am I? What am I writing? Discount or bargain.
sale. You know, it's a sale, guys. Green. All right, and that's a wrap, I guess.